Okay, welcome everybody to Lead Beat and Red Track webinar. So just to make sure if you can hear me well, please write like plus or I can hear you something so I can be sure that you can hear me well. So, uh, can you hear me? I don't see any messages. Oh, yeah, I can. Thank you very much. Yep, thank you. Now I can see all the messages. Okay, so here we start. Uh, the purpose of today's webinars, we won't show you Red Track, we won't show you any other tools we used. The goal is to share the experience we received. In Red Track, we have a lot of uh, like starters, people who just test in different type of uh, affiliate offers, new networks, new traffic sources, and we decided to replicate the experience, do something from scratch, and share our findings. What went right, what went wrong, mistakes we made, because yes, we made mistakes ourselves, and just share these results with you and answer all the questions. Arjun, uh, I guess if you can hear me, you need to do something with your sound, but looks like all the other people can hear me. Okay, so uh, we'll talk about picking up affiliate network, picking up traffic sources, using ad tracking, and uh, we'll show you live data. I'll run slightly jump ahead. You won't see like 500% return on investment cases. you will be real campaign small budget just to test the conception and show the findings. So, moving on. Today we'll be talking me, Vlad, and uh, Maxim from uh, Leadbit will join us and uh, share more about Leadbit itself because we got an amazing experience with this affiliate network. And to start with, uh, we, we work with different affiliate networks, so we asked around. And for this case, we decided to work with Leadbit because we were just like starters. So we had zero ideas uh, what to do. And uh, these guys uh, shared expertise, gave us advice and supported us throughout our journey. So Leadbit did something a lot of studying special affiliates would like to get. Uh, we never run any like uh, COD offers, cash and delivery. So we just came to them and said, okay, guys, what offer you would suggest for us to run if we know nothing, we have limited budget, we want to get some conversions, and we want to show the recording of this webinar later on on YouTube. So they gave us quite an unexpected suggestion. But before we move to the suggestion, uh, let a little bit talk about their approach to affiliates. So I'm switching my microphone off. A uh, little bit, Maxim, are you here? Can you speak? Okay, looks like Max is not here yet. So when he joins us, uh, I'll pass him a word for now. Uh, not to waste the time, uh, let's move uh, to the result. So actually, a little bit suggest us to run a uh, hunter cream for Greece. Both uh, were very unexpected for us, but say it was a test, so we just rolled with it. And the best part was that we received a huge uh, selection of landers, pre-landers, conversion pages to pick up from. So we built uh, our funnel, patients, let's say, uh, advice and intuition. And uh, then we came up with the need for traffic. And so we decided to pick up traffic source. It was naturally we thought that uh, like uh, we needed clicks for Greece at reasonable scale at good price and something we can actually attract people to this product. So we went with native advertising and we picked up again looking to get some support. We picked up MJD who helped us on the way across many things. Not only they have uh, amazing targeting options, uh, publishers, etc. What they also helped us with, they checked our funnel and they suggested us 
uh, five creatives that you can run uh, with the campaigns, and they also suggest us uh, the starting bit. And that suggestion was very, very to the point. So quite often, and that's uh, FAQ uh, question minute, we are asked, should we uh, give uh, your traffic sources uh, the information about this? Like, should we step a post back? What we know is that most of the traffic sources do a lot of optimization work uh, behind the scenes based on the post backs you send to them. So it's actually highly advisable that you set up the post back to traffic source, whether it's MJD or somebody else, and let them improve uh, like the traffic offering. So with the MJD, they provided us with uh, a lot of features uh, and uh, creatives. And this like uh, features you can use every time. Uh, hello, guys. Uh, like, if uh... oh, uh, I'm very sorry. If you don't have a sound, uh, you can just keep watching. Uh, I'll show pictures and uh, well, people. So, I need to try this. Okay, so uh, let me just help the people without a uh, sound. Okay, glad that uh, the issues were on the phone. So moving on. And now I want to play uh, a really small game. Uh, game with you. So we received five creatives from uh, MJD and we picked up only three for the initial test. So I want to show these five creatives. One, two, three, four, and five. So what creatives uh, do you think we used for the initial test? Like just try the numbers you think. We picked up three creatives out of those five suggested. I'm very curious to see the numbers because in the previous webinar we did on this subject, most of the people were right on spot. So three out of five, just gave your thoughts. Okay, two, three, five, two, five. What else? One, four, five, two, three, five. <laughs> Guys, I feel like you use Atplex to spy on our campaigns all the time. Two, three, five again. Okay, honestly, those were uh, two, three, and five. And we, uh, since our goal was just to experience what works, we did a very limited test. So we picked up three creatives and just one uh, landing page and one offer page. Uh, what we learned is that if you would like to do it, uh, expand a result as soon as we finish the first test, we had to come up with the second one, picking up the better landing page and then uh, the better conversion page. But we'll talk about it later on. So this was uh, two, three, and five. Three creatives we picked. And this were our landing page and our conversion page. So we picked up uh, both from the array of different landing and conversion pages offered by a uh, little bit, and this combination worked. So what we did is we just, we ran a week of test. We picked up the best ad. We removed non-performing geos. We removed non-performing operating systems. We blacklisted publishers. We played with uh, bits for selected publishers. We played with time zone, and we made quite a few mistakes. These are our results. As you can see, uh, nothing fantastic, just real test, real campaign, real data. So we actually uh, are not uh, positive, neither in test, nor in the other one. And the other one, just because we made quite a few mistakes well, that we'll share. However, uh, what was a surprise for us is that 
we focused on leads and we never considered uh, this fact that we can receive quite a lot of rejected and trash leads that happens. So even if uh, the leads that are being processed right now will all be approved, we are not likely to break even on this campaign, but we have not lost all the money and we get some results. So for all the studies, it just gives you encouragement to move on because we hear quite often, okay, guys, we tried this, that, and this, and that. Nothing works. We can get a conversion, so we just quit. So don't quit. Just be ready to green, to be ready to do more tests. You see, first test, improvement. But then again, we need to do more tests, and we'll talk about this test later on. So first of all, uh, another question to you. Which out of uh, – so we run this in MJD. Uh, for Greece. And so what do you think? Since we split test three creatives, two, three, and five, which one was the best? How do you think? So what is your ideas? Again, just one number into the chat. I'm curious to see if you'll guess the winning creative because I never guessed the winning creative. I thought it would be very different. Okay, thank you guys. Uh, either two or five, okay, four, four was that part of the test. Um, so we had two, three, and five. And uh, surprisingly, two wins. I was, I was th thinking that uh, it should be like three, maybe five, because you have these red zones, focus on pain, but no, two got the best results. So for me, uh, the first takeaway, don't uh, think what will work, just test, test and work on data. So creative number two one. And uh, what also happened is that we uh, did a reset up after the first week of test, this week of test. And we made a couple of stupid mistakes. First, we uh, messed up with time zones because we got data from red track. We picked up the times that were the best for clicks, conversions. And then we set up those time zones in MJD, which was wrong because MJD runs in uh, PST. And if we would review campaigns daily, we would spot it this like the next day, which we never did. We run this campaign uh, for a week with the wrong settings. And uh, it was enough time to like regret the lost conversions. So review campaigns daily. This looks like obvious, but we never did this ourselves. Check the time zones in settings between your tracker where you get the data and to the traffic source where you set the data. Also, uh, there was some traffic loss which we should have account. And traffic loss was between uh, 10 to 15% between MJD data and red track data. And surprisingly, uh, there were publishers that sh would show zero traffic loss and publishers that would show a significant traffic loss. So it's not only about connections, it's also about publisher quality. So don't be afraid to blacklist them even after 10 clicks if you see that they show traffic loss. And again, uh, account managers gave us a lot of uh, good advices, but I think we would, would do better. You would send only transactions to MJD, not uh, all the conversions, because maybe those conversions slightly spoil these backdoor uh, adjustments or like, I don't back office adjustments for the campaigns that we got more leads, but we also got more rejected leads. Again, what we learned is that you need to test more variables. Like we test only one of the creatives. Eventually we would have to come up with the testing landing pages and testing offer pages, or maybe a launching simultaneous test for the creatives, landing pages and offers just with a bigger budget and a bigger time frame. Like in this initial test, maybe run it two weeks, throw more money, uh, have a combination of three creatives, three landing pages, and three offer pages, and pick up uh, two winning combinations, and then uh, split test them again, and only then start to run bigger campaigns. So this is something I would definitely do uh, if I would ever run such a campaign again. Test more. So don't be afraid to test. Trackers. Like Red Track are here to support your testing, all those Red Tracks A-B testing at multiple levels at the same time. 
So this is what we learned because technically we wasted time, we could have done more tests. And then looks like creatives actually burn out because we run a, quite a small selection between publishers we have not blocked, between time zones and geos that we also blacklisted quite a lot of geos. So uh, creatives are something that need to be tested constantly. Like get them through spy tools, create your own, ask your traffic sources, but just make sure that your creatives don't burn out. And again, we focused on leads, expecting that uh, those leads will be all purchases. As you can see, not all. So we got almost equal amount of uh, purchase and rejected leads. We also got some trash. If you combine those two, this will be equal. Still five leads being processed. So in the end, this number is not important. You're paid for the purchases, which we also uh, kind of put like a second objective while leads were the first objective. So we did good with leads, but we failed with number of approved purchases. So uh, this are like our biggest finding and our biggest uh, mistakes made in this webinar. So uh, it's not a case study. I'll just show you uh, some live data. This is our little bit dashboard. Go back 15 minutes. I'll try, but sorry for that. Again, not 15 minutes, maybe 10. So I'm sharing my screen and uh, just tell me if you see the screen now. Okay. Yeah, guys, sorry, I will repeat all the stuff about three tools. So let's start with Leadbit. I'll just cut something short. These are the campaign results with Leadbit. And like I said, I see that we have more rejected leads than before that. This is uh, the data in red track. So this was uh, the winning creative. And I also show you data for publishers. We'll have to cut this part, me not showing screen from the presentation. So the publisher data for the different time frame, like for the old time frame. And I was showing that uh, if you will uh, like group publishers and notice that some publishers have good CTRs and it's obvious some publishers have bad CTRs. And uh, what we learned is that you should not be afraid to uh, blacklist publishers. As soon like 50 clicks, you're unhappy with results, just uh, like, well, this one's strange, it has transaction without clicks or something is wrong with data. Uh, but don't be afraid to blacklist publishers. Like, don't waste traffic for them. In MJD, and let's go back to initial list of creatives. As you can see, our uh, reach with this bit is, was very high. We played with bits from 5.5 to 6.4. I would say somewhere between uh, four degrees. For these creatives, 5.5, uh, maybe 6. 6.5 uh, is already slightly more than we have to pay. See, we have very high reach. We played with seven, we played with eight. This would be the top. Uh, I would suggest we would run these campaigns further on. And since the reach is very, very high, we can keep uh, blacklisting publishers until we are happy with the selection of those. And then we can play with creatives. And speaking about uh, MJD, uh, the interface, like uh, that's where we dropped the ball, like I said. So it was very natural to uh, use a schedule. But nowhere here, it's like written that schedule is in PST actually. So we uh, did the schedule in red track, uh, tracking time zone, and that uh, turned things uh, almost uh, a different way around. So we're advertising in the business hours and we're not advertising in non-business hours. Uh, another thing that we did, and uh, I think we should not have done it, was uh, this setting, language targeting. We switched it off because we like targeting Greece, but uh, I feel like when we switched this off, we got uh, slightly worse results in terms of CTR 
So uh, what I would test, I would next time run two similar campaigns with different settings, one with language targeting, other without language targeting, and see how it would work. Also for devices, we eventually cut out windows, although it uh, was giving us conversions. And like I said, we the bigger summary, we need to do bigger test with more variables, not only creatives, but creatives, uh, landing pages and offer pages, especially because MJD gives us uh, amazing selection of uh, presets. You can pick up uh, mobile friendly, adaptive, desktop only pages for landing pages, for conversion pages, and you can do a lot of campaigns. So again, sorry for not sharing the screen. I, I was under impression I switched it on. I'm back to the presentation. Uh, so let me switch to, to the slides. So these are our findings. We are ready to answer any questions that you might have. And now I'm reading the screen and I can see your questions. Hey guys, any questions? Okay, if you don't have any questions, let's move on with the good part. We, uh, to all the participants of the webinar, we are, uh, you can use two plans. Okay. Yes, I was talking about average CTR for the native. So, uh, let me uh, switch. Optimization, okay. Yeah, two questions, thank you very much. So uh, let me answer the first question and then the second one. Screen sharing, I make sure it's turned on. Sorry for the previous time. This is our traffic source and this, So uh, from all the, my days of ad tech and RTB and display advertising, uh, you'll be surprised that all those bigger brands, they believe that uh, CTR with 0 0.1 is a good one. They can say it's a great result. For native uh, that uh, I've been, uh, again, running different campaigns uh, for publishers, uh, buying them in EdTech, uh, I mean in rich campaigns, I noticed that uh, for native, anything that starts with 0 0.3 is okay. Anything that is uh, 0 0.5 and better is actually quite good CTR. So this CTR is okay. And it gives me uh, understanding that uh, yes, this was 1.2 and this was 1.3. And again, this uh, 1.2 is actually on the uh, bottom of being okay, and you would say it's not okay already. Like some that is, uh, again, it's personal experience, but some that is gives you 1.3 is okay. But if you get it to 0 0.5, that's when you have a uh, good CTR and good uh, targeting. So again, the CTR itself might be not because your creative is wrong, but because your targeting is wrong. However, if you run three creatives, like we did in the beginning, uh, it is a big difference, like 0.35 and uh, 0.19. Yeah, the way it was, 0.19. So uh, that's why uh, that's something I was speaking about creatives. Uh, so, uh, and same, I was also speaking about CPC. This, I would say in this particular campaign, six. 0.5 is the highest CPC I would beat given the reach and uh, my ability to blacklist more and more publishers. So maybe I would even drop it to, I don't know, 6.2 or 6.1, maybe 5.9. Again, this is something we need to test or you need to test. And also for these changes like beat uh, with MJD case, my personal experience was need to give at least a couple of days to see the result of the changes. Like it's not happening immediately, uh, it adds up. So back to questions. 
Uh, okay. Uh, so what is the most important part in optimization of those campaigns? What improved our earning? Okay, welcome, Max. Uh, I'll just finish answering questions and we'll go to the slide with a little bit. Uh, so um, the biggest optimization came from creative, naturally, but uh, then from uh, slightly raising the bid that gave us more traffic. And the opportunity we missed was uh, testing more landing pages and more offer pages. I guess uh, what I would do next, and let me show you, uh, I need to share screen in red track. So these are my campaign settings. So here we have like our landing page, our offer, and we run traffic from those creatives. If I would keep going on, what I would do is that I would create another stream and make sure that like 80, maybe 90% of the traffic goes to the stream that I know performs. And then uh, like maybe 10, uh, so the way it is like one to 10 in this case, would go to alternative stream where we test multiple lenders and multiple offers across maybe two to three weeks just to let them accumulate some data. And then I will pick up uh, like an alternative winning combination and I would split test them like stream one, current winning combination with say rate 50, then uh, stream two, second winning combination with rate 50, and I will add another stream and they will keep testing, but like on a very low priority, maybe even at five rate. So like uh, out of 100 clicks, 50 would go here, 50 would go to stream two, and, 50, and only five would go to stream three. But I will keep testing all the other combinations uh, from landing pages that I would find either in um, Leadbit or somewhere else with, I don't know, spy tools like at Tech City. So next. Okay. Yeah, uh, like for us, honestly, we never did any translation. We just picked up the page uh, in Greek that was provided to us with uh, a little bit, but of course you can use other services if you need to translate something create from scratch. Okay. Okay, guys, uh, guys, any more questions? If not, I would like to return back to our presentation to this particular slide about a little bit. And I want uh, Max to speak on behalf of a little bit and just share, uh, because we were very happy with experience as an affiliate. And I guess not because we are Red Track, we are trackers, so we're like technology partner for them, but because that's the attitude towards all their affiliates. And that is something I'd like uh, Max to speak a few words about. So I'm, now this time I'm switching microphone off. Okay, uh, so I don't hear Max speaking, so he can uh, start speaking anytime because I can see him in the webinar room. So let's move on with uh, the final part of the presentation. Hey, uh, is anybody hear me? Uh... Yeah, we can hear you. Yeah, good. good. Uh, first of all, thanks um, to all of you for joining us uh, on this webinar. And yeah, hopefully this info will be really helpful for you. So as you can see, uh, we try to, you know, to make a case for you with uh, <laughs> tracker and uh, well, uh, we try to, you know, with Nira, 
I think because you know, we're quality uh, as a little bit company, uh, because we have own neutral offers. And so we decided to give uh, you know, the best offer that we can uh, can give them in terms of, you know, quality of traffic and uh, depending on our experience with it. So, yeah, so, uh, is one of the best converting ones for particular geo and particular uh, circumstances that we talked with uh, a researcher. Thank you, and uh, we will make sure we'll have uh, the script uh, of uh, this part because, yeah, the connection was really choppy. But uh, the point was, Max trying to say, and since I do like a lot of onboarding for a track worldwide, uh, yeah, we'll have a transcript for this one. I'm used to this choppy connection. So what Max said is that uh, since uh, the selection of offers and they do offer the same service to everybody, and this, since they own the products themselves, so they run their own products through their offers, it's very easy for them to see what works, what's not working for each particular case. And again, he reiterated my point that I made. Uh, pick up the network where you can ask questions and don't be afraid to ask questions. They have the expertise. Uh, they can suggest you uh, geos uh, offers that will work for your traffic, for your experience, for your setups. Something that uh, we see often that uh, affiliates don't want to ask networks. Well, we suggest ask way, ask trackers, ask us, ask us, ask your traffic source, uh, help them with set, ask them for help with settings, ask your affiliate network. We we try to respond, we try to support you, and we uh, do our best for you to succeed. So uh, this was. Uh, like I would try to do the live case with live data. So it's, uh, we think that we'll move on and we'll, we'll try other the networks, other traffic sources, other type of offers, just to share our experience as if we learn it ourselves. But meanwhile, if you want to benefit from having a track like Red Track, you can use this special offer and uh, well, You'll get the recording of the webinar in the email. We will be happy to answer all your questions. Myron, I, I say yes, you can enter as a newbie. Because before we joined Leadbeat as a tracker, I tried to enter it as a newbie and not telling who I'm, whom I was or uh, where I come from. And as you can see, it's my initial account from uh, my personal email, not a corporate one. And they let me in. So that's not a big deal. Uh, you don't see my screen, so let me show you. Sorry. Yeah, so I initially I uh, came to a bit uh, personally before they knew I was coming from Red Track and they would let me in. So they will let you in as a newbie. Okay, sweepstake case study. We have a blog article about sweepstakes, but yes, we'll do sweepstakes uh is uh something i can give it a try okay any other ideas and again if you feel like you have questions not answered sound was not good just try to us and we'll try to help you So again, you will have the webinar recording in the email. I hope the sound will be much better in the recording because it won't be like live connection. Thank you for joining. If you have any last minute questions, feel free to ask them. If not, we'll just close the webinar in a couple of minutes because our goal is not like to promote something. We wanted to share the results, answer your questions and make sure you can learn something new today. Uh, for push traffic, well, uh, I would say uh, get uh, the guided push traffic from Attila. He recently, uh, I guess, made it free. 
and so uh, we talked to him and to think this guide will be available in red truck academy that we will open to all red truck users okay quite a few links here thank you guys Okay, if you don't have any further questions, uh, so thank you very much for your time and your attention. Sorry for wasting 10 minutes of your time uh, speaking and not sharing uh, the screen. It happens to me because I am excited when sharing cases or information. Uh, I need somebody to poke me with a stick, but all my messengers are uh, in the muted mode, so I don't hear what you tell me. Um, so anyway, you have any questions? Please uh, follow with Red Track or with Leadbit. We'll be happy to help you. And thank you for your time.